Hey everybody, God has allowed us to get into chapter 6 of one of the most organized chapters of Chronicles that I've ever seen, from 1 through 5. 6 is just a little bit easier for me, and it might be because I got used to some of these names, and so therefore I am ready to go into chapter 6. It's very organized, and that's the way I want to be. Father, we thank you right now for the jazz of your word in the book of Chronicles to me. Because there's a lot to read, a lot to learn. But with this music, we're going to make it through it. And I am so thankful for all you've given us gave us a plan and it makes sense and I thank you for it and I thank you for the music too <laughs> but Lord thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins may everybody see how good your word is because you like music and you like all kinds you just want the lyrics right and you want us to live according to what we sing and I'm glad to be a part of your plan of reading and enjoying you on pages I've never seen. Oh, Lord, this makes me feel good. Thank you for another day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I am excited. Let's go. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Miriel, or Miriel, Miriel. All right, these were the Levites. These were God's fingers, his hand. He used these three. The sons of Levi, he had three. Gershon, Kohat, and Meriah. Or Meriah. Now, I don't know how to say it. M-E-R. Near. A. Rai. Meriah. Meriah. All right, let's talk about these sons. The sons of Kohat were Amram. Is a Hebron, Oziel. The children of Aaron were Aaron, this is Aaron's father, Moses, this is Moses' father, and Miriam, this is Moses' sister. And the sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, El Eleazar, Ithamar. Eleazar begat Phineas, and Phineas begat Abishua. Abishur had a son called Buke, or Bukai, or Bukai. And Bukai begat Uzai. Uzai begat Zariah, Naya. And Zariah Naya, or Haya, begat Marioth Oth. And Marioth begat Amari. And Amari begat Ahatub. Ahatub begat Zadok. And Zadok begat Ahamas, Ahamas begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Joan. Joan begat Azariah, same name, Azariah. It was he who ministered as priest in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. All right, that's we all the way down to. Azariah begat Amaria, and Amaria begat Ahatub, and Ahatub begat Zadok, same names, just like we have. Uh, John 1, John 2, John 3, or you name your son Jonathan, Jonathan the first, Jonathan the second, Jonathan the, Jonathan the third. It, it seems as if they had a calm, it was common to have the same names. Verse 12, Ahatub begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Shalom, and Shalom begot Hilka, and Hilka begot Azariah, Azariah begot Sierra, and Sierra begot Jehoda, Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord carried Judah and Jerusalem into captivity by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. So coming all the way from Egypt and we get to after the kings we're talking about uh, about 900 years. That's 900 years of uh Life. It might not be 900s, right? Right. 
maybe a little less than that. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Miriam. These are the sons of Gershon. Libni, Shimei, the sons of Kohath, were Amron, Izzah, Hebron, and Uzziel, the son of Miriai, with Mali and Mushi. Now these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Gershon's of Gershon's, Libni, his son, Jahath, his son, Zemiah, his son, Joah, his son, Ido, his son, Zerah, his son, and Jethro, his son. The son of Kohath were Abimadad, his son, and Korah, his son. You say, why are you reading all these names? Because my father wrote it. And it's, I think it's just good to be obedient and say it. I never read it before. I just want to read it again. Asir his son, Elkanah his son, Ebesoth his son, Asir his son, Tahat his son, Ural his son, Uzziah his son, Shaul his son, the son of Elkanah were Amasa, Ahamath, as Elkanah, the son of Elkanah were Zophia, the son of Nahath his son, e Eliab, his son, Jehoram, his son, and Elkaniah, his son, the sons of Samuel were with Joel, the firstborn of Abijah, Ahabiah, Abiah, the second, the son of Miriam, were Mahi, Mali, Mali, Libni, his son, Shemir, his son, Uzzah, his son, Shema, his son, Haggiah, his son, and Asiah, his son. And all of these are sons that that were a part of the Levi, Levitical priesthood for the sons of Levi. What's different about chapter 5 and chapter 6 is chapter 6 is very organized. Some kind of way, somebody in chapter 6 made sure that things were written. And what can I learn from this? When you keep things organized, it's more, you're more accountable. And when you're more accountable, you're more believable. Uh, let's go to the choir or the musician of God's house. And God loves music, I told you. But I only, I'm only carrying this music because it's a lot of names to remember. And this kind of helped me flow through it. Musicians in the house of the Lord. So God, you know, you got some people that don't believe in music. Musician in the house of the Lord. I, I don't like to talk about what people believe. I like to talk about what he said. Now these are the men whom David appointed over the service of song in the house of the Lord after the ark came to rest. Once they got the word of God in them, oh, it's time to sing. They were ministering with music before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of meeting until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and they served in their office according to their order. And these are the ones who ministered with their sons of the sons of the Korahites were Herman, the singer, the song of Joel, the song of Samuel, the song of Elkanah, the song of Jehoram, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zoph, the son of Elkanah, the son of Maha, the son of Amasia, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahoth, the son of Asir, the son of Ebi Asaf, the son of Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, A S A P H. You ever read in Psalms when they would have his name A S A P H? That guy was a singer. So some of the songs, I always saw that. I know what that meant. That was that guy's name in the choir. And his other guy's name was. It's two different spelling of that guy's name. And these guys, could, they were professional. They were good at what they did. And that first guy's name was Heman. But I think King James called him another name. He had a lot of songwriting too. The son of Ethanai, the son of Zara, the son of Adiah. Oh, I skipped somebody. And his brother Asaph who stood it. 
At his right hand was Asaph, the son of Barakiah, the son of Shimea, the son of Michael, the son of Basil, the son of Malchiha, the son of Ethanai, Ethani, the son of Zerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zimai, the son of Shimei, the son of Jehah, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi. A lot of, lot of names, but suppose your name was in there. Suppose God called roll like that when everybody's going to live with him for help. He said, I'm going to call your name one by one. I'm going to stay in line. I'll stay in line until he called me. The brothers, the son of Moriah, on the left hand were Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malok, the son of Hashbiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkaniah, the son of Amzi, the son of Benai, the son of Shema, the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, the son of Maria, the son of Levi. These are the, this is, this is the music department. And their brother and the Levite were appointed to every kind of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. Every time they, what do you say? And their, and their brothers, the Levites, were appointed to every kind of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. So the Levites were the ones who just did everything as far as the tabernacle was concerned. They did not have jobs other than whatever they did toward the house of God. So that means they was inquirers. They were building the house. They were responsible for making the house, uh, make if it would need repairing, they were overseeing that. So the Levites were just God's hand toward man in his meeting place. All right, the family of Aaron. But Aaron and his sons offered sacrifice. Now, Aaron had two sons that didn't make it. If your name is not written in the book, that means God didn't put it there. So two of Aaron's sons died because they did not follow instructions. So we're going to move on with the ones that are still alive. But Aaron and his son offered sacrifice on the altar of burnt office and the altar of incense for all the work of the, of the most holy place and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. Now these are the sons of Aaron. Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Bukai his son, Uzai his son, Zerahiah his son, Merialat his son, Amira his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, and Ahamaz his son. When I started reading the word, it was my goal to read every word, but I wanted to skip these names. But I said, then I wouldn't be reading every word. So, continuing. The dwelling place. Where did the Levites live? The Levites did not have a tribe. They lived in set-aside land that was given to them by the people who did own the land. Because the Levites were God's agents to work with all people. And for the people. And for him. Which is what God want all of us to do. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their settlements in their territory for they were given by Lot to the son of Aaron of the family of the Kohathites. They gave them Hebron. That's the first land that David stayed in and the land of Judah and with its surrounding common lands. But the field of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb the son of Zephaniah. And to the sons of Aaron, they gave one of the cities of refuge, Hebron. That's, a, that's another famous name, this guy named Hebron. Also, Lipna, I thought he was that singer, but the other one name was Heman. They gave it to him with his common land. Gave it to who? Hebron. Jetiah at Moab with his common land. Still passing that land out. Holland with his common land. Debur with his common land. Asha, Ashan with his common land. Bet Shemesh with his common lands. And from the tribes of Benjamin, Geba with his common land. All these suburbs, when I say common land. Alamath with its suburbs. 
enough with its suburbs or common land. All their cities among their families were 13, so they were very, very organized. Move it on. To the rest of the family of the tribe of the Kohites, they gave by lot 10 cities from half the tribe of Manasseh. And to the sons of Gershon, throughout their families, they gave 13 cities from the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Nephtali, and from the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. To the sons of Merai, throughout their families, they gave 12 cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulon. So all of these tribes had to give the Levites somewhere, some space, somewhere to live. So the children of Israel gave these cities with their common lands to the Levites. The Levites were the ones that made sure everything that they needed was provided. Whatever God wanted done, whether it be the, anything concerning being a gift. The Levites was like the Holy Spirit. He just provided for everybody. They, they were God's extended hand. And guess who we're supposed to be like today? Like the Levites always being a hand for somebody or lending a hand to somebody. That's what the Levites were. To the sons of Mary, I threw out their family. They gave 12 cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulon. So the children of Israel gave these cities with their common land to the Levites. And they gave by lot from the tribe of the children of Judah, from the tribe of the children of Simeon, and from the tribe of the children of Benjamin. These cities were called by their names. So they kept their, they kept their, their names. In other words, if I gave you a city and I still call it Brenda, then that's the city of Brenda, but I'm just trying to make it plain. Now, some of the founders of the sons of Kohath were given cities as their territory from the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave them one of the cities of refuge, Shechem, with its common land, and, and Mount Ephraim. Also, Gezer with its common land, Jokmion with its common lands, Beth Horon with its common lands, Ahalion with its common lands, Gat Ramon with its common land, and from the half tribe of Manasseh, Anna in its common land, with Biliam with its common land. For the rest of the family of the sons of Kohath. I wonder why God put it in here. Did he mean for us to skip this part? This is just the part of the word you just don't read, right? I don't know. I've never read it before either. From the family of the half tribe of Manasseh, the son of Gershon, were given Golan and Bashan with its common lands, Ostaroth with its common land, and from the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with its common land, Dabarat with its common lands, Romath with its common land, and Anim with its common lands, and from the tribe of Asher, Masha with his common land, Abdon with his common lands, Hukuk with his common lands, Rehob with his common lands, and from the tribe of Nephtali, Kadesh and Galilee with his common land, Haman with his common land, and Kerhathium with his common lands. From the tribe of Zebulon, the rest of the children of Mary were given Rimon with his common lands, Taba with his suburbs or common land, and on the other side of Jordan across the Jer from Jericho, on the east side of the Jordan, they were given the tribe of Reuben, Beza in this wilderness of his common lands, Jazaz with his common lands, Kedachmach with his common lands, Mephanach, Mephath with his common lands, and from the tribe of Gad, Ramath and his Gilead with his common lands, Mahaniams with his common land, Heshbon with his common lands, and Jazer with his common lands. That is, how many verses is that? That was 81 verses. You know what I thought about as I was reading this? And I'm done with chapter 6, getting ready to go into chapter 7. You know, I grew up where... If you had a lot of members of your church and they gave an offering, suppose they were calling out your name saying how much you gave. Would you sit there and make sure they call your name right? 
So God has said, I wrote these names. I meant for you all to read them. I, it's just a part of my obedience to finding out how organized God is. That's what I can leave out here knowing. That if I keep up with what I have, I can be accountable for those things that I said I would be responsible for. I don't know why God has it, but it's necessary and I want to get it done. And we did. And thank you. And I will see you in chapter seven.